So an example of what I sound like when I'm triggered um, is uh, I, I actually pushed him a little on the shoulder and I said, I just found the gray area that you um, weren't sure that I uh, could transcend my uh, bullshit ideas enough to consider. Uh, and I pushed him on the shoulder, uh, but that wasn't really appropriate. And then I said, put out your hand. And he didn't. And I was like, actually, that's good. And I put out my own hand. And I said, Adi, don't ever say shut up to me. Me, sweetie, don't ever say shut up to me again. And I slapped my hand. And then I said, I slapped my hand harder than I would have slapped yours. And then I touched my hand and I said, wow, that was hard. I said, yeah, it's not appropriate, is it? I mean, I don't know. So anyway, and then I got up and I said some stuff about, um, you know, if you want to leave your TBI untreated, which uh, ruined your marriage and separated you from your family, that's your problem. And then I wrote a text to my friend saying, I seriously don't know about this guy. He's sleepy and he's got strep throat, but I said, uh, no, no, he's sleepy and he's got strep throat, but I seriously don't know about this guy. Uh, I told her what he said, told her I'll never, I told her I was walking away, as she has advised me to do, which I know perfectly well. I've been reading all the books about conflict and relationships and anger. Anyway, um, I said, uh, I'll never mention it again. He's a grown ass man and he can make his own uh, decisions and his own mistakes if she, the ex, thought it was a good idea to badger him into getting off of his meds, his appropriate TBI treatment, thus ruining her marriage. That's her choice and her folly. Um, and then I assured her that I was okay and that I was gonna take space um, and that she doesn't have to call me every day, which she's clearly not really into. She's just looking out for me. She's a good, she's a good egg. She's a great person. Even when she's not thrilled with me, I can tell she's a great person. It's not, she's not mean. She's not angry. She just gets overwhelmed. She's got her life too, you know. But anyway, you know, grown, he's a grown ass man. Apparently after a recent incident, I wrote, I got into a thing on the phone with a pretty volatile um, employee of his who has since become like one of my best friends because she took me under her wing. But um, we yelled at each other and said some nasty things, and I was really hurt. And I texted her, but I have no memory of this, because that's what happens sometimes with anger, you black out. I said, I don't play, I don't play, I don't play. I, period, don't, period, not, period, play, exclamation point. <laughs> and she and her aunt were reading my text, and she was about to come over here and get in my face and confront me, although my sweetheart says she's not actually very physical. She seems it, because she's tall and imposing. And um, people mistake her for a man, so they think, oh, she's gonna beat me up. But he says she's not really, wouldn't really know how to physicalize her anger in that way. And that uh, her aunt calmed her down. They look like sisters, they don't look aunt, like aunt and niece. Anyway, her aunt calmed her down. And I said, I hope you guys were just thinking, what is this crazy white girl talking about? Not like in a racist way, but in a like, you know, she's just really upset kind of way. <laughs> Cause I obviously was, I, had no, I have no recollection of writing that, none. <laughs> oh, my teeth, oh. So I got the pastry off my nose, and uh, it's the end of the video, folks. Bye! No ring, because I just got out of bed.